Hey loves and welcome to my channel mom on a budget if you're new here please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell channel mom on a budget if you're new here please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload all the wonderful content that I have for you guys stay tuned when my husband and I got married we like any other couple we decided to buy a full-size bed and it worked for a time until kids came along and moms that you know especially here in trinidad your kid is not going to sleep in their own beds no 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 it surely didn't happen for us so when our first son came along we had to share our bed with him which was okay until our second baby came along and we can fit all of us we couldn't fit on the bed so what happened we decided to buy a double decker so our first son he branched off to the double decker and mind you this was in a one room that god blessed us with so now thank god we're in a three bedroom home and guys no 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 it's still happening <laughs> they are still sleeping with us yes i mean my trini people you know what i'm talking about my parents in trinidad you know what i'm talking about my boys still sleep with us so when we moved into this three bedroom home and we noticed that the boys still wanted to sleep with us they refused to go in their room and I mean, I have a, the last boy, he's still a baby, so he was basically sleeping on the bed. But when the bigger boy wanted to sleep with us, he was like, no, we need a bigger bed. So I told my husband, you know, instead of buying a queen, why not a king? So all four of us could sleep on the king size bed. So, you know, the prices of a king size bed. Mm -hmm. we decided to look for the price and it is like for mattress the lowest was $25,000 and a bed frame with bed head was close clocking in $4,000 and up so do the calculation that four, five, six, close to $7,000 for a king size bed so DIY queen, queen I decided to make our own king size bed so my husband he's very supportive so he said well why not so guys we made our own king size bed including the bed head that you see and also tufted sides so you guys will see that in this video so stay tuned <laughs>
so guys i decided to do a short clip explaining exactly what we did when we built this bed so my husband is here and he will explain to you guys step by step okay so the materials we used was one by ten by twenty pitch pine that's this board here so we have one two three four we have also have four on the ends one two three four we also use two by four by twenty pitch pine these here we use to frame it up so let me just i'll explain what we did now so first the bed measured 76 by 79 or 80 somewhere around there so we just cut it to make an inch about an inch space bigger so on the sides those two ends we cut it at 82 inches these here we cut it at 76 inches because the woods on the pieces on the outside are going straight across and the these on the that coming across the bed is going on the inside of it so that was the four pieces and the other four pieces we just leave it for the props on the bed so we didn't decide to cut that we just leave cut it 76 inches to go straight across next the two by four next the two by four we used it to brace up the bed on the ends of the bed here on the two ends and we we put it in the hook we put it in about a few inches in dongs because we wanted the bed to fit inside the frame and not on top of the frame so if you watch at it closely right here it is inside a few about two three inches inside we are not putting eight legs for the bed three on each side and two on the middle because our kids like to jump on the bed and prance so make sure to have proper and strong support on all ends of the bed and the height of the legs was 12 inches in height so with the 12 inches then the 3 inches for the brace and then the 3 inches above it brings us to about 18 yeah 18 inches in height So the legs here is 12 inches and then we have this prop here where we had have the props for the bed the support for the bed is four inches and then we have three inches of space here so that so the height of the frame in here is 19 inches so for the support of the bed we use the two by four by 20 inch pieces of wood right so we cut the, the 76 inches here to fit on the inside we had one brace here for the bed and then another one on the end so for this middle one here we also took a short piece of the same 12 inch we used for the legs and we put and we screwed it on here so we could brace this this um prop here and then we did the same thing on the head of the bed we put the same 12 inch piece you could have used a shorter piece but we just cut all 12 inches to help support this middle support here and on the inside and I, as i said earlier the children as always be jumping on the bed and prancing and we always having a good time on the bed so i put two support on the bed on the middle of the bed here so it is very strong and very sturdy i could just get it out of shake here and you won't even hear anything it's very sturdy so what we did to put all of this together was just simply wood glue and two inch screws that's all we did to assemble the bed together and talking about the bed head now if you see the bed here it's a nice velvety material i had a board like almost exactly the perfect size for the bed head we used we had a white piece of melamine just laying around so we just utilized it one time and we use for the ends here we use the same two by three 
by 20 visa piece for the post of the bedhead. So what the material we used here was velvet and sponge. So if you can if you come close up, you see it's nice and soft. All here is nice and soft. Right? We use sponge, we use this pro, pro stick 65 adhesive glue to stick on the sponge and then we took the velvet cloth lay it over and what we did if you can just watch on top here we used a staple gun and we do a, did a nice fold here and staple it all in the back here staple let's pull it tight enough and we stapled it together right so, so my wife decided to decorate the post of the bed with these nail heads coming all the way down the side of the post so it have a nice little design there and also when we also covered the same material the velvet material on the side here with the sponge also the same thing with the glue and the, the um, sponge so we got a nice soft material running right along the side of the bed going straight around the bed and she just carry along the design with the nail heads going straight around looking very beautiful now what she did with the same thing as the bed head, just pull the cloth tight enough and give it the staple gun here just staple it down so you got a nice foam pull and for the corners of the bed all she did was if you take one side it can be either side to start off with and just with the material you just go straight around the bend and the staple it in and then take one side and if you can see here she just fold it over and bring it up over and staple it in so you got a nice finish on the ends of the bed now guys as i said before if we bought a custom king size bed we would have paid around close to seven thousand and this bed cost us around close to three thousand so do the math do the math budget friendly bed so yes um a tip guys if you could wait for a sale when it comes to big projects like buying a bed mattress do so um we got our bed mattress at furniture plus and we got this on a steal of a deal and it's very comfortable very comfortable we got this mattress for um less than two thousand tt dollars which is really good it's a king size mattress and the materials that you saw my husband he paid less than a thousand so do the max less than one thousand dollars for all the materials included the fabric on the bed head and the bed side so that was a steal of a deal and it's very strong my son's trump on this bed daily i'm always arguing always saying get off get off the bed so guys i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe for even more wonderful diys hacks and tricks that you can do for yourself at home and don't forget to comment down below if you guys use this video to build your own bed please let me know post it on instagram i'll be sure to probably link it on this channel you never know so guys thank you so much for your support like share subscribe and i always welcome your comments love you bye